Ladies no Russian bots here. here. No, no bots. bots at all. <laughs> real. Organic. 100%. All organic, yes. American. Homemade. No Chinese. Absolutely. at the White House, outside the gate, getting ready to go in. If you're watching the video, give me a thumbs up. I saw you guys' comments last time. You said, hey, you're moving too fast, you're doing too much, but I'm going to try to keep everything nice and steady as much as I can. You see where I am. And you see how, how deep we are. Yes, we are. All righty. We got NBC out here. I told them, you better do a good story. We had Fox News up here earlier. Fox News, they're at, they're at the hotel, actually. Where's Michael? Oh, there he is. And they were just talking to us about a few things. I was not able to really talk to them the way I wanted, but I'm here. We're here. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you. You see the White House right here. What's going on, Bossy? Patriotic Shades, loving it. MAGA hats everywhere. Hey, it's, it's great. We're going to go in in about 10 minutes or so. So I'm giving you guys a little bit of a tour of what's happening right now. And I'm trying to hold it as steady as I can. I'm nervous purpose over here, but I'm good money. All right. Thank you all for being here. Like the video, share the video, do all that good stuff. I appreciate it. I said, bring them on camera. Who? Bring who on camera? You're talking about NBC? Nah, they're over there doing their thing. I can't really. See, you see the lady right there with the boom mic? That's uh, SNBC. They're doing their thing. And the guy's right there with the camera. Straight ahead. All right. So we're here. Now, I want y'all to tell me what the media says about this. I know we've already been on television this morning. Y'all let me know what the media says. Are they going to give us a positive spin, a negative spin? What's going on? Hello. All right. Are, are you guys with the uh, with the group? Yeah, we are. Okay, good. Are, are you excited to meet the president and to see everything that's going on right here? We're really excited. We've been involved in, you know, politics and activism for a long time, but this is our first ever visit to the White House. Okay. So we're really excited. Good, good. I'm glad. Thank y'all for coming. All right. What's going on? It's going. Everything's good? All right, man. Ready, ready to do it, man. Ready to go on in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We got more people coming. I mean, it's 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 by the by the by the truckload, literally. You know, people Ubering, people walking, all that, man. This this it ain't, it ain't no migrant caravan, no. We not walking on foot from Honduras. Hell yeah. We coming from the hotel in D.C., man. Hotel to Uber to the White House. <laughs> that, that's right. <laughs> it's a little too far. <laughs> it's a little chilly out here, but we, hey, it's it's cold a little bit, but. Uh, we're here. <laughs> My man Marcus. <laughs> All right. We got hundreds of people, hundreds of people here. Hey, there we go. And people are still coming. So this is a brief video. If they if they let me stream in the White House, I I do it, but I doubt it. They're probably gonna confiscate their phone. We might be in a secret area. I don't know what's going on, but huh? Oh, you can. I'm live, yeah. Oh, hey y'all, y'all doing? We here at the White House. Y'all talking about? I'm with all my cousins and stuff. Cousin Tyrone, Tyshawn, little Mookie in here. <laughs> we all heard about the meet Donald Trump, baby. Let's make him real great again. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, I got sir. a job now. <laughs> yeah. They want to hire me when Obama was in office. <laughs> when was this, right? Yeah, they now, now I got a job. I'm eating good. I done went from government cheese to that good old pepper jack cheese, baby. Yeah, you better believe I'm eating good. Yo, turn was a cookout. Yeah. And listen. We need to do a barbecue, everybody. We need to bring, do a bring the grills out here to the White House. Bring yeah, the grills to the White House. Bring the grills out here to the White House. Yeah. Get a sizzling on the South Lawn. Yeah, yeah. uh -huh. What do you think about Don Lemon kind of token Negro? Is that Don what he said? Lemon? Let me tell you what I think about Don Lemon. 
Don Lemon is two things. He messy and he petty. <laughs> <laughs> and he got the nerve to call somebody a token Negro when he's a token Negro for CNN. Woo! Absolutely. And then hold on. Uh oh. Wait a uh -oh. minute, real quick. Okay? Preach, Pastor. Now, he don't want Kanye sitting with a white man. Uh oh. Come to find out, you sleep with a white man. <laughs> 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 now, I ain't got nothing against that, but if you sleeping with one, why we can't support one? That's right. <laughs> and it's not like we just supporting him, we supporting him because, shit, he making America great again. <laughs> you know? Well, Terrence, where was America great? Let me tell you, I don't care, everything leads to greatness. Even bad, good, it all leads to greatness, okay? So America, yes, it was great. It was great, okay? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm done. There goes ABL. Everybody filming. Got my man Jermaine right here. Jermaine Boxio. Hey, I got, I got the most ever on mine. I got 246 watching. Shout out to Riley. Oh man, I'm coming out. I'm doing a show out there. Oh, there go my man Lucas. Lucas, Lucas, I'm live, boss. Say something. <laughs> ready, ready for, ready for the White House, man. I'm ready. I was born ready. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to follow you, ABL. You got the look. Show, show fam what you got. They got the VIP. He's ready. Oh, this, this ain't that, man. A little something. ABL <laughs> has been VIP his whole life. Yo, you got, you got, you got your tags? You got your credentials? Yeah, I have it, I have okay, you're good. I got, I got, I got here. We no. are ready. We are, yeah. We're rolling deep. Are we deep? Was, <laughs> it's deep. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was like, hold up. One, two, three. Uh, it got me because at first it was about five people and then more. So I was like, what? And then more and more. Yeah, man. It's, it's surprising. I didn't know there were that many black conservatives. And you know, there's more than this. It's more than this. Yeah, more yeah. than this. Because a lot of us are scared to come out. Yeah, some of them, they, they, they wearing the MAGA hat, but they, they're voting. they voting, yeah. And it's, it's, man, it's, it's really awesome to see this. It's Absolutely. really awesome to see a, a coming together, a gathering. Yes. Now, we can get this on a, you know, a global scale. Yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. Exactly. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm, I'm excited, you know, making America great again. Absolutely. Making, making uh, you know, we need to make America lift again, too. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, what do you think about Don Lemon calling us token Negroes? <laughs> <laughs> I wanna, yeah, what do you think about that? I think it's, the problem with Don Lemon and many of those on like the media and stuff like that is that they're getting paid to to speak a script. That's right. Yeah. Whether or not they actually believe that when they go home, it doesn't matter. Because all we know is what we see when we see on, on television. Absolutely. So if someone paid you, I'm not going to lie, if someone paid me, you know, a few mil to be like, yo, Trump is a racist, I'd be like, ooh. <laughs> I'm joking, but you you can get the you get you yeah. get the drift. So I mean, it's it's hard to to really decipher whether or not that's really how he feels, or whether or not you know he's just been in it for so long. Mm -hmm. You know, he reads it. It's like, yeah, I, I already know what you say. Uncle Tom's cabin. Uncle Tom was a hero. Uncle Tom was a hero. Yeah, and absolutely. who did Simon Legree use to kill Uncle Tom? He used two other black men. Yep. And that's why, that's who he used. That's why it's and then the same people who are like Simon Legree turn around and vilified Uncle Tom. The same way they're doing now in society. So that is who Don Lemon is. Yep. Don right. Lemon is Sambo. Don Lemon is Quimbo from the novel <laughs> Uncle Tom's Cabin. He's being used by Simon Legree to kill Uncle Tom and then turn Uncle Tom into a villain. That's mm. who he is. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's one thing you have to take a step back. It's like, well, they constantly want to tell you about white privilege and you can't do this and you can't do that. It's like, well, how much are you getting paid, Don Lemon? How much are you getting paid, Angela Rye? What about you, Mark Lamont? It's like, well, if you guys are making it, why, why, can, why can't I? That's right. So it, it, it just doesn't make sense when you look at it at the end of the day. I'm very much like, yo, show me the steps. I'll take the steps to become that millionaire, become that successful business man. But don't tell me there are no steps to take. That's right. When you're sitting up there t telling everyone, no, you can't get here. From, from the average tower in the sky. Exactly. Yeah. Don't spit in my face and tell me it's raining. That's right. So that's that's really what's, what's happening. It's awakening. It's the fact that you can. 
if you put in the work and you put in the muscle, whatever industry you want to go into, you can make it happen. All right, we got to go ahead and go in. Gates open. All right, we are inside, inside the White House. Yes, we are. Look at the food we got. The food is crazy. It's the food looks so good. I don't even want to touch it. I just want to kind of put it in a glass case and preserve it. But but the food is great. A lot of a lot of beautiful people. Hey, <laughs> this is live. <laughs> Everybody got food in their mouth, but it's all right. <laughs> pardon me, pardon me. All right. So yeah, this is just a handful of people here, and you see we are in the White House. You see the chandelier. Hey. All right. We're, we're, being, we're meeting Trump shortly. What's going on, man? Hey, we're live. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Hey, everybody's video, yes. This is an experience. Look at my man Reagan, the one and only Reagan. Reaganomics did help, don't hate. Chandeliers. Oh, the left is going to hate this. There you go. My man Sharp, all right. We got an Abe Lincoln bust right here. I'm not gonna get anywhere near it. I'm not gonna break that. But we're gonna keep on moving. The White House is really beautiful on the inside. It really is. A lot of cameras set up. How you doing? All right. Everybody's got their video going live. A lot of, lot of, lot of good flags everywhere. I'm only going to do this briefly because I don't want to get caught right when Trump's getting ready to come out and speak. I think it's going to be right here. Is Trump going to be here? All right. So I'm going to just go ahead and go back. There go my man Terrence in hey, the White hey, House. Hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna go ahead and go back, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get myself set up. I'm gonna try to walk as slowly as possible because y'all were saying that last time I was doing too fast. All right, what's going on, partner? Live band. And I gotta get myself in here too. Hopefully I'm I'm looking okay. My man, can you can you film me just to make sure that you can see me? Go ahead. Okay, I just want to show y'all myself, so you know it's not a lot or something like that over the camera. I am a real person. Thank you for that, man. I appreciate you. Well, all right. Excuse me, excuse me. Everybody got the good foods. The good foods. I'm gonna get some grapes. And live like I'm golden, man. I'm gonna live my best life with some of these grips over here, man. Facts. Facts, big facts. Let them know. Let them know. Our best life right here. Yes, indeed. So I'm gonna I'm go ahead and give you one more time for the foods, the grapes, 
I'm, eat, I'm eating that whole top tray right there. That's a wrap. Strawberries. Thank you. Melons, all that. Pineapple. Thank you, Tanae, for the for the Thai compliment. I appreciate it. All right. So, brief video. There we go. Got the squad over here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. I know this is short videos, but I'm gonna do more of these all throughout the weekend. Uh, Trump's coming very soon. It's got to be past 10:30. Oh, it's 10:30 right now, so we got about a little bit more than a half hour to go. All right. So for now, oh, there got my man Abe, honest Abe Lincoln. This, this is early. This, this is only a handful of us. We're not even really. There you go. Say what's up. All right. <laughs> yeah. There you go. All mega hats. <laughs> All right. Appreciate your work. All right, watch you all the time. Thank you, man. Keep it coming, bro. I will do. Keep it coming. Yes, sir. All right. 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 Out here in DC. Hopefully, y'all can see my. Hopefully, you can hear because this phone is brand new. I'm not even really sure what's going on with the sound. What's going on, Tori? I see you, boss. Over there in China, Nihao. GC, all that good stuff. All right. Now we got the Hyatt right over here. Right. Just want to show you guys the environment, but I'm going to go ahead and go back in. This is going to be a short video. If the sound is good and everything is good, I may go live a little bit later. But as of right now, we're just trying to get things together. Yes, sir. I'm in, I'm in D.C., boss. Hey, and we may do like a kind of a meet and greet at a certain point. You can hear me? Good, good, good. All right. Back in the lobby. This is only a handful. We got about 400 or so coming. I'm running my own. Oh, nice, nice. Where at? Over in Claremont, Florida. Oh, nice. It's about 15 minutes from Orlando. Got the suits coming in. Somebody about to go to jail. All right. Got to get everybody. Hey, the energy in the room is fantastic. It's great. It's all love, no hate. I'm in DC. Oh, I know it. I know it, Derek. I'm, I'm not going to be careful out here. But we're deep. So that's one thing I, I thought about before I came is it's too many of us. It's about 400. I'll show you guys some of the environment. I got my man Jermaine. Good, boss. Anthony, right? Yes, sir. Michael, Black Mike. I'm in the group chat. Oh, what's going on, man? You do the um on the street interviews, yeah. and yeah, good stuff, man. Really good.
All right. <laughs> Loud shot. Make Mary Greg. What's going on? Now I have to get out my camera. <laughs> Everybody got to get it out. Put it starts. Put it starts down. Oh yeah, get your hat. Leo Dunson is not here yet, but he will be, I suppose. Brandon is here. Brandon is here, but I haven't seen him yet. Uh, I believe Candace is here. Um, I, saw, I saw my man Jermaine Baccio just now. Hey, Dale, you want to say what's up to the people watching? How are you doing? Hey, guys. What's going on? Here we are. Yeah, uh, this is YouTube. YouTube? Okay, what's going on? Completely different than I think. Good. Good. Hey, man. Hey. Tell them what you saw tonight. Hey, I saw an amazing speech from uh, Donald when Trump did you Jr. Get had a selfie with him. Had to do a little bit of elbowing to get it in there. But um, it was great. Uh, it was a good speech. He had a lot of great points. A lot of hallelujah moments. I was really impressed. So, so shout out to John Jr. for coming. And that was just the beginning. We got many more coming. White House tomorrow. And then Saturday we got a full day. It's going to be amazing, really. It's going to be amazing, man. Can't wait. Yes. Appreciate you, man. No problem. ABL, my brother, man. My brother. But then they... Woo. You guys saw it here first. ABL. My boy Jermaine. Hey, ABL. Everybody been asking about you all day. I mean, okay. I, 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 just came, I just came back up live, but I was, earlier everybody was asking. Uh, I, I, I just came back right home here. right now. Glad I'm to be telling here. You people, man, Leo, Jermaine, Will, everybody. So, a lot of good people. A lot of great energy. Glad to be in the White House. And I'm, I'm glad y'all are watching. Yeah, all right. We got to get there. We're going to get, we gonna get the followers and back up. Y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe. <laughs> Welcome to the White House. Oh, oh. So sorry, you know, I've so busy. I'm not the way I'm like, sugar there. <laughs> no. I, I know, I know. Hi, guys. Hey. Oh, hey. Okay, this room. I gotta get I'm a photo bomb in here. <laughs> um, yes, he's in that room right there. Go so straight right there. You're standing right there. We need Jay and Jamal. We need Jay and Jamal. We need Jay and Jamal. You know. We got a whole bunch of folks here. Will Johnson, so glad to see that you made it out here. Oh yeah, dude, I wouldn't miss it for the world. This is beautiful. Absolutely. You know, share, someone, hey, do me a favor. Share this with CNN and yeah. MSNBC. Share this with CNN and MSNBC and also tag Infowars.com. Please, tag Infowars.com, share it with Absolutely. CNN and MSNBC right now. You guys heard? Tag them all. With NBC, MSNBC, ABC, CBS, the criminal CNN. Outlets. Make sure you tag CNN. Please do that for me. Tag That's CNN. CNN. Tag all CNN. Let them yes. know that we're here. Also, that tag box. Infowars. I'm not from Russia. Yep. I'm from America. Absolutely. That's what it is. You're right. Exactly. That's what it is. Ladies no Russian people. bots here. No, no bots. bots at all. <laughs> real. Organic. 100%. Organic. Yes. American. Homemade. No Chinese. Absolutely. Turn it other way. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, okay. it's, only, it's only gonna do it like this. Oh, okay. You, 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 you rock it like this. It's all right, okay. we're rocking. Hey, man. Hey, doing my first live video, and I wanted to do with a very special person I met at, here at the Young Black Leadership Summit. You know him as Anthony Brian Logan. 
What's up, brother? So I'll let him say a few words because this is one of the first YouTubers I was following and when I turned into conservatism, I used to watch this stuff all the time. The only person that has a clear, you know, well-spoken voice than me, I think. So I'm going to let him talk and then let him know about the event and some of the things that we did this evening. Oh, the event was great. I had a great time. A lot of great speakers. Um, in the beginning of the day, we had an event here at the hotel in D.C. This is a liaison hotel. I think it's on New Jersey Avenue. A lot of great speakers. Um, we had Ben Carson, Stacey Dash, Larry Elder, my man David Harris Jr. at the very end had a very emotional take. It was it was great. You know, I've known David Harris for a while. We've been in, in Phoenix with each other. A lot of guys, uh, Brandon Tatum, Candice, etc. We all met in Phoenix. And I didn't know all that he said about himself. I don't want to spoil it here because you guys got to go get his book. His book is fantastic. But I did not know all that about him until I got here today. I didn't know the extent of it. So that was really surprising. But there's a lot of good people, a lot of great energy, a lot of good information also. Some of the other speakers, I can't really remember their name, but they were talking about things that were happening back in the day, like in Chicago and whatnot. And it really was informative. It was historical. I think it was something that we can all use when we go back to our places of origin for you know what we got coming up. And Blexit, that event was great. Um, it was like, you know, it was kind of a surreal thing. Y'all got merchandise from Kanye West. He produced it. And I think that once we're able to get it out there more and market it, this whole thing about Blexit, Black Exit from the Democratic Party, Exit from group think exit from being a drone or a slave to any type of political ideology those, those shirts that merchandise is going to take off and i'm ready for it oh man and so we explained it man pretty well so what we came in together and we had a lot of great black conservative speakers speak with us you know larry elder dr ben carson you know david harris like i said all these great men and they were just pretty much telling us you know that we're not alone in this movement and don't think you i'm good and we're not alone in this movement, and we're together. And they, all they're trying to do is get us to not get involved, not to be involved in group think, be independent thinkers, and just come together. And let's work together, and let's get something going, man. Let's get a real movement in this country going. That red wave is real. And this is just further confirmation of how real that red wave is. So, you know, I got to meet Anthony Brian Logan. I got to meet Candace Owens. I got to meet all these great individuals. I mean, it's just been a blessing, man. And I'm just so glad to be here to give you guys this message, you know, the conservative in New York, you know, and I'm here with my man ABL. And we just want to say, y'all, keep it, man, stay strong. Yep, yeah, put that up, man. Yeah, yeah, make sure we put that up there real quick. Stay strong, you know, keep doing what you're doing, man. You guys have a voice like we have our voice, man. You, we, you can guys can do what we're doing. So don't ever think like, you know, ABL or me, we're the only ones out here that can do what we're doing. You guys can do what we do. You got a voice as well. Make sure you use it. You know what I mean? So enjoy the rest of your evening. We're off. We got to, you know, we still got some events, you know, to, to take care of here. You know, we're about to eat too. So, you know, first things first. Got to eat. Got to eat. You know what I mean? <laughs> but y'all enjoy the rest of your day. I want to do my first live video with a great man, a great individual, a lot of respect for. This man is amazing. And, you know, I recommend if you don't, if you don't know about him, from, through my, you know, you're watching my stuff. Go watch his stuff, because you got to see where I, you know, I learned a lot of my information from, men like him. So check him out, Anthony Brian Logan. Enjoy the rest of your day. God bless you, and God bless America. Adios. Peace. Peace. <laughs> All right. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Justin Wilson, and I'm with ABL, as you guys probably know. And, uh, you know, this, this, this event was just life-changing. I mean, nothing short of that. Now, one thing I do want to bring up is the fact that there was media coverage was just on a zero like they, it was nothing like <laughs> almost like next to zero and then the coverage that did happen yeah was very minimal i saw also on a bbc they may have written about two to three paragraphs and it wasn't talking about too much of anything just a real basic summary of what was going on but it couldn't really encapsulate all of what we had happening here yeah so so what i'm getting from this the vibe is that the left knows that they're bleeding so much and they can't stop the bleeding so they're 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 trying to distract they're like panicking in some way because they they can't stop it they know people are not coming they're not getting much of a blood transfusion um the blood transfusion is not coming into them it's, it's actually leaving you know into the republican or conservative uh group so like do you do you notice like the media actually like kind of they're nervous they're, they're more angry not they're not laughing as much no they're not laughing just like uh charlie was just talking about when we just heard him speak uh, Al Sharpton came out and said a few things talking about we were paid and they, they put hats on us like they dressed us It's like I'm 34 years old now. I dressed myself. I'm not a little boy. I need my mommy to come 
lay my clothes out on the bed. Now this is my hat I've had for a long time. I got two of them, as a matter of fact. I got a blue one too. I bought it with my own money. They, they act like there's no way that you can have 400 black conservatives in one space without it being some kind of grand scheme to be that way. We're all our own individual people. We're not all the monolith. Even when we display that, they still try to paint us as that. It's not the case. So when they see it, it's hard for him to keep with the same rhetoric. So it goes back to the whole thing about fear. The, the, the rhetoric now was more, I'm afraid, so I got to try to make up something. Mm -hmm. That's what it kind of devolves into at this point. Yeah, and you know the the vibe that I was getting off of Facebook. Some people were saying like, you know, this these are the people here at Tom Tubman would shoot. Like some people actually <laughs> said that to me, wow. which says, you know, that this is a little deeper to other people. Like, I don't know why it's so extreme to believe that you can do things for yourself and you don't need the government to do everything for you. Um, this is like destroying their whole like I guess cosmic mentality. Like it's destroying their their universe. So. I mean, what I see right now is that, you know, this movement is like a snap in the fingers, like a Thanos into the ideology. And they're seeing, they're, they're literally seeing, uh, I guess, the black demographic just kind of disappearing in, in a certain way in their side. So I, what I saw here was just powerful. But another thing that I noticed is that I didn't see not one Antifa person no, around. No, 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 nobody from the protest. <laughs> None of that type of stuff. Nobody came up to us. Now, some would say, oh, it was kind of chilly, so they didn't want to be out there. I mean, it's not that cold. You put on a jacket, I have on a light jacket, it's not that bad. So if they wanted to be out there doing something to us, they couldn't have been out there. They knew that we were there because we all have pretty big platforms. We were able to send a message out there. I'm posting videos on Facebook. I'm getting 200,000 views, 100,000 views. So they know we're here. You know, they, they know when you have one person in the restaurant, uh, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, they know when she was in the Red Inn somewhere off on 81, which is like far away from here in the middle of nowhere. They know when she's there, they're able to collectively go to that restaurant. You got 400 people here that are all talking about social media and you don't know, they avoided us because how is that going to look? You got a bunch of angry white liberals attacking black people. Mm -hmm. That's going to go against the whole thing about not being racist. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's going to yeah, totally yeah, just yeah. kill it. Yeah, so they, I mean, if I could say one positive thing about that is that they were actually getting smarter. Yeah. You know, instead, <laughs> like they're they're yeah. learning. At least they knew that yeah. you know to to attack the little kid is just be, it would be wrong. You know, so in their minds they see black people as little kids. You know, so for them to attack us would just be a bad look in their eyes. So they, they didn't want to come up to us as like men or, or see us as adults to actually debate us because they know it's going to look bad as far as like, social media, you know, for them to protest against black people. Right. They know it's going to awaken, I, I guess, the leftist mindset that, oh, look at them, they're attacking black people. Right. How dare they? Do you know black people can't defend themselves? <laughs> like, so. They they were smart to not even come near not even come near the walk away movement. Right, right, right. Because yeah. they, they, they could probably imagine that there'll be a mixture of black and, and whites together. Yeah. And it it it'll just be a bad look. It, it's I mean they can't call all of us Nazis. No, they can't. They can't do it. <laughs> like, it's just it's just too many of us. You got a seat full of four hundred black people and you want to call us a Nazi, I mean at a certain point it just doesn't make any sense logically. Yeah. And people are gonna see that when that happens, if it was to happen. Yeah. So, you know, one thing I could take one thing I could take away from this event is that, you know, the left is at this point, they're so frantic that out of nowhere all these crazy events started happening and taking over the news. Like it's I mean, this is not a slow news week or, you know, two weeks is but caravan, yeah. then the bomber um, it was identified, you know, suspiciously on the same day that we were having our event. Um, then also this this shooting. That, that happened um, in uh, Pittsburgh. So, yeah, it's in the God. yeah, very unfortunate. Yeah, it's, it's very sad about that. But, you know, it just seems like they, 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 they're doing certain things to try and overshadow what we have going on here, for sure. Yeah, I mean, if they have some social media, like, I guess, uh, war rooms where they, they look at how to attack, you know, the social dynamics of, of the internet, they probably learn from what happened to Kanye. You know, I did see some black people defending Kanye, who were, in at least from my perspective, normally a leftist or more normally like a, a democratic sympathizer. But when it came to Kanye, they they saw the the anger and the heat, and they saw, wait, why you guys are y'all overdoing it with Kanye? Yeah. So for them to do that times four hundred. Oh yeah. I mean, at the White House. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. 
it, 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 they knew not to attack it. So, so those 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 are my thoughts. And uh, you know, but thank you guys for tuning in. And I will come up with another video next time. I'll probably uh, meet up with another YouTuber. So God bless. And thank you, Anthony, for it's been a, a privilege to actually meet you. You oh, know, this guy wife, is actually wife. taller than I thought. You know, I thought he was like, you know, like this this tall. <laughs> Because you know, you can see me from like right here up. You never see me. No, I'm six three, so you never see this. So it's kind of hard to really imagine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was surprised when I said, "Whoa!" <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but God bless and have a good day, guys. Peace. Cool. Praise God. Thank you.